مسیح یسو کے عظیم نام میں آپ کو اسلام پروگرام گواہی میں میں آپ کو ویلکم کرتا ہوں آج ہمارے ساتھ موجود ہیں پاسٹر اینتھنی ان کا تعلق ہے جرمنی سے اور آج کل وہ یہاں پر منسٹری ورک کے لیے آئے ہوئے ہیں تو یہ ہمارے لیے بہت خوش قسمتی ہے کہ انہوں نے ہمیں ٹائم دیا تاکہ ہم ان کو اپنے اسٹوڈیو میں بلا سکیں اور ان سے بات چیت کر سکیں جو ضرور آپ کے لیے اور آپ کے گھرانوں کے لیے ایمان کی ترقی کا باعث ہوگی تو ابھی ملاقات کرتے ہیں پاسٹر اینتھنی سے Pastor Anthony, I am very pleased that you are in our studio. It's a great pleasure for us. Thank you, Pastor Barber, for inviting me here to this wonderful studio of National News NAMA and the amazing team here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Pastor, I want to ask you first question. Please tell us in which age you accept Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. When I was a boy, I was eight years old. Uh, my mom read a story to me about the sheep which was lost oh. and it touched my heart. I started to cry as a boy and I wanted to be found and so I went to my dad and he prayed a prayer with me and that was the beginning of my relationship with God. Oh, excellent. And you joined the, any church? Yes, my parents uh, were running a church so I went to church before I was born. Your parents are pastors? My dad is a pastor, yes. Good. Right. And um, yeah, so I've been a church kid all my life, but there were important moments uh, where I needed to understand for myself what I believe and experience God for myself, not just from my parents. Very early age, you accepted Lord Jesus Christ as your savior. Yes, I did eight years, but... Uh, and what is your age now? And now I'm... You are very young. <laughs> I'm, th I'm 35 years old, yes. 35 years old. Are you now a pastor or evangelist? Um, I call myself a church planter, which for me is the mixture of uh, pastor and evangelist. Are you studied in any seminary? Yes, I did a bachelor's in theology in Germany mm. and a one-year master's degree in Scotland. Now, in these days, you are in Pakistan. What is your experience? It's amazing. I'm mm. really privileged to be here. Uh, so far, the country has been wonderful. I am very impressed with the hospitality of everybody. You are on visit or missionary work? Um, this is a mission trip really. I am here um, to serve and uh, build connections and see uh, what the Kingdom of God is doing here. Good. Please share some your experience with our viewers. Yes, I uh, yes, um, I've been very happy to experience this big city uh, Lahore and um, I've been invited by so many people, shared food, um, people have been praying for me. I have been given so much, even at the pharmacy, they just gave me the medication because I'm their guest. I'm amazed how generous uh, and warm and friendly everybody is here. When you are planned to come in Pakistan, if anyone who says you that is a place not good? Yes. Many of my friends were worried. <laughs> they said, why are you going there? Is this a good idea? But now it's good. It's totally fine. Mm. I knew this is of the Lord. He wants me to go here. So I was never afraid. And uh, it is proven that this is a wonderful, warm place. Um, but yes, people back in Germany, many have a, not such a good view of Pakistan. Mm. I will go back and I will be an ambassador for Pakistan and yeah, tell people how good, wonderful it is. Do you have any testimony in your life? Um, yes, before I went to seminary to uh, study theology, I studied natural sciences in Switzerland. And I was always a high performer and bright. And uh, at the university, it was the first time I failed. I did not manage the course. And this was very humbling for me, but it was a great experience in my faith because what I learned is that um, my worth does not depend on how good I am in anything, how successful I am in life, but God loves me just like that. And my identity rests on what He has done for me. And this really helped me to go through this failure and it gave me confidence and it helped me to be open and not hide from who I am and what I have done. So it was a deep experience of God's love in my life. It is a very beautiful testimony you have and it is very helpful for our viewers. Ji Nazin, bahut achhi baatein, bahut khubsurat baatein jo humne aaj Pastor Anthony ki zubani suni hai ki kis tarah se unke maa baap ne unki tarbiyat ki aur wo bachpan hi se jaise ki unhone bataya ki 8 saal ki umar se hi jab ان کی مدر نے ان کو یہ سٹوری بتائی جو انجیل کی ایک تمثیل ہے کہ جب ایک بھیڑ 
खो जाती है तो किस तरह से चरवाहा अपनी भेड़ के लिए अपनी जान को भी दे देने से ग्रेज नहीं करता और वो उसके पीछे जाता है इसी तमसील की वजह से इसी कहानी की वजह से जो उन्होंने अपनी जहन में ली और इस चीज़ को ज़रूरी जाना कि हमें भी एक दूसरे की फिक्र करनी चाहिए और दूसरे का ख्याल रखना चाहिए और जिस तरह से खुदा यसुम सी हमारी फिक्र करता है हमारे लिए उसने अपनी जान को कुर्बान किया ताकि हम नजात हासिल करें और खुदा बाप से हमारा जो एक रिश्ता है वो दोबारा से बहाल हो तो ज़रूर है कि हम भी इसी पैशन के साथ अपने दूसरे लोगों से मिले उनको बताएं कि किस तरह से खुदा हमारा निजात दहिंदा है यसुम सी ने कितनी अपना आसमानी तख्त को छोड़ा और हमारे लिए इस ज़मीन पर आया कि किस तरह से हमारा जो एक रिश्ता है खुदा बाप से बहाल हो तो आज की गवाही आप अपने बच्चों को भी ये ज़रूर सुनाएं कि हमें हमेशा खुदावन की खिदमत करनी है दूसरों का ख्याल करना है और दूसरों के लिए हमेशा भलाई के मौाक़ों को तलाश करते रहना है इससे खुदा भी खुश होता है माँ बाप भी खुश होता है और हमें अपने तौर पर अंदरूनी सुकून भी महसूस होता है जो हमारे लिए शादमानी का बायस बनता है अभी मुझे और मेरी टीम को इजाज़त दें मिलेंगे एक और खूबसूरत गवाही के साथ